I didn't even need to put it full throttle. This is the video where we did the test between Sika and Fast 2K. Well, in this video, this is why we did the test, and this is how we fixed it. You know, right there is a huge hole. Come here, look at this. Hey, welcome back to the channel. We went back uh, to Lowe's and got some Fast 2K. I think we have a fix for the sawmill post or the posts that are holding up our sawmill roof. We don't have a roof yet, but it's gonna hold the roof up. You know, the posts are really loose. The Sika did not hold uh, the Sika brand foam. So let me show you what I think the fix is gonna be. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and dig the dirt away from the, the foam, the Sika. Somebody pushed the dirt all up against the... Who did that? Wasn't you? Can't prove it, right? You gonna help Gizmo? Get in there and dig, buddy. Yeah, he said, I already got my chicken strip today. I'm, I'm good to go. This one is not as bad as the other ones. The little ones, I, I think the bigger the post, the less uh, shrinking that it has, it, it can't. The more foam you have, the thicker the foam is, the more it's gonna shrink. With Fast 2K, you really don't have to worry about it. It just, it just works. And it's, it's really muddy right now. Just a big mucky mess. Let's stop here for a second. The end game is, is we're going to use Fast 2K to pour down around the Sika where the Sika has contracted or has shrank uh, after it cooled off. And so basically we're going to use Fast 2K to fix the Sika fiasco. Y'all know I really don't know what that word means. So I think I'm going to make, have like two sumps, one on either side. And then uh, I can see it when I push over, it'll have a crack and that, 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 that fluid should go down in there. When it's got like three minutes, five minutes before it starts expanding. The good thing about it is, is once it, once the fluid gets in there, it's gonna, it's gonna expand and push around all by itself. That's my theory anyway. Pretty sure that's the way it's gonna work. So if you see the, down at the base there, when I push the post over, there's a pretty good crack that opens up a void and it does it on both sides. So I'm gonna pour the fluid on both sides really fast and then kind of wiggle it back and forth, letting the fluid go down in there. He said, I got three to five minutes. So they say, all right, we'll take the Fast 2K out of the box. That's the box that comes in at Lowe's. We'll put all that stuff back in here. The way we got it figured, we're gonna do one, I mean, there's really no way to do more than one time, one at a time. So we're gonna do one, one bag, or one bag per post. So they sent me the gloves. But uh, the fluid, or this foam will not expand as fast when on cooler days, on really hot days, this stuff expands a little bit faster. That's why like on a 100 degree day, you wanna keep your foam, a little bit, like keep it in the truck air conditioner while you're, before you're working it. And that's, I've never done it in 100 degree weather, but uh, I read that somewhere, maybe. I don't know where that come from. Hey, look here, perfect. Perfect shoe sign. Okay, starting to get warm. These holes are gonna be the hardest because it had gravel around the top. So there wasn't as much movement. I got fast 2K on these boots uh, back in the summer. Uh, that stuff ain't coming off. Yeah, yeah, don't get it on your shoes or any gloves. 
yeah, or clothing because it ain't coming off. There's a pretty good gap over on the other side over. Yeah, this one here is gonna be, do a lot better. There's a lot of big old gap there. So you know it's in there because as, as I move it, it's squishing out. Yeah, the sawdust that blew off in the hole was about the only thing holding that steady. Oh, it's pouring down the hole. Fast as I can pour it in, it's pouring down around the post. Like I said, the good thing is it's gonna push itself all around the post. Wow, well, look at it. Hope it don't push the post out of the ground. Doesn't that move it around while it's they went right to the bottom. I'm going to put it back straight. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Wiggle around some more, make it move around some more. No, I already did. It's already went all down in a hole. It'll push itself around. It's, as it expands, it creates pressure and it pushes the liquid around. So it encapsulates by itself or, you know, moves the, the fluid by itself as it's going through the reaction. I, I would, I'm just hoping that as it gets, as it starts expanding, that it doesn't push the post up. It's something that just kind of crossed my mind right now. I don't think so. You know, right there's a huge hole. Come here, look at this. See the gap there? That's without me digging it out. That's just, that's the way it was. That one, it, that one for some reason shrank a lot. That's really sad. Yeah. I think I should not be on the market. <laughs> I wasn't gonna say that in video, but I'm frustrated with Sika for sure. Get out of there. Yeah, look at that, just go down that hole. Let it sit 30 minutes, and they say you can go, it'll, it'll be strong enough to work with. We'll do that with fast, okay? You gotta use the saw to get it off. You do, that stuff's tough now. Okay, now we've got the foam put in the, all the uh, excess voids of the, around these posts. Uh, so what we'll do now is let this wait for 30 minutes. Fast 2K, uh, you, it's safe to start working with it after 30 minutes. So we'll wait 30 minutes and it'll be just like that for you guys. Okay, it has been 30 minutes. We're back on, we're on the back row of the future roof for the sawmill. The, these back posts were the worst because the holes were the same size as the front, but the foam had to be thicker. And the thicker the foam is uh, of the Sika, the more it shrinks. So that's something to know. Uh, these were like, you've seen what they were doing. They were just rocking back and forth. Now, they're like uh, springs. Now the, the, the boards are gonna flex, the four by fours are gonna flex, but it keeps on moving. Where before it was so loose that it just settled right back instantly. Now we actually have real uh, tension on the board and uh, it's not moving in the ground. So I feel pretty good about this, especially since it's probably only gonna be here two or three years at the most. 
Um, and then who knows, with this, with this fast 2K in the hole now, maybe here longer than that. This stuff's hard to get out of the ground. Hey, I really appreciate you watching the channel. This is a little quick video. Um, just wanna show how we're going to solve the, uh, the Sika foam shrinking problem. We use the fast 2K to fix the Sika. How, how, what's the irony of that? I believe the, the Sika, once it, once it cools off and shrinks, it's not gonna shrink anymore. So I think the fast 2K will fix the problem. And again, this building is temporary, you know, two to three years. That Sika, that Sika's a waste of money, ain't it, buddy? It's a waste your chicken strips, didn't it? So that's the chicken strips we could have bought. You're a chicken strip dog, ain't you? Huh?